Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your scanner to use with age verification. First of all, if your scanner already works with the Clover register, then you don't need to do any scan, any kind of setup at all. You're done. You don't need to watch this video. Okay, again, repeat. If your scanner already works with Clover, don't set it up. There's nothing to set up. Okay. Second thing I will say though is that um, is that we need to you need to check if your scanner is a 2D scanner to make sure that it can scan driver's licenses. Okay, and the way you can check that, the easiest way to see if your scanner is set up to check driver's licenses is, I mean, if it's the right, you know, if it's a 2D scanner or not, is um, go to the Clover register. Okay, I'm gonna do that for you. And you go to the Clover register and pull out your driver's license, you know, out of your wallet, pull it out and try to scan that driver's, scan the back of that driver's license with your scanner, okay? Now, on the back of the driver's license, there's more than one code make sure you hide every code but the one in the middle okay don't let it scan the codes on the side but see if your scanner will scan the drive the code the big code in the middle of the back of your driver's license i'm going to try it right now do you hear that little beep okay that's the first thing you're listening for is do you hear a beep the second thing is you should see right there see you should see a bunch of gibberish appear if your scanner is a 2d scanner then you'll see a bunch of gibberish appear when you start on the register and scan a license okay so if you see all that gibberish, you're done, okay? Your scanner's already set up for scanning driver's licenses and it's already a 2D scanner. You do not need to do any further setup, okay? So, so, uh, so if you're done, that's great, okay? Now, for the rest of you, if you have a brand new scanner or if you don't have a scanner and you need to know what to do, I'm gonna show you what to do, okay? What you wanna do is tap setup and tap scanner. Again, it says if your scanner already works with the register, you don't need to set it up. Just make sure it can scan the big code in the back of driver's license, okay? Don't scan for the wrong scanner, okay? Do not scan our codes if you don't have the right, the right hardware, okay? So for the Zebra or Motorola DS9208 or the DS9308 or really now the 9408, you can just tap right here. There's the scan code right there. This code will, will make your scanner be configured to work with Clover, okay? It's not just our scanner. It's not just with age verification. It'll make your scanner work with Clover, okay? That's for the Zebra or the Motorola DS9208 or 9308. You can get this scanner on Amazon used for like 120 and new for like $220, okay? That's all you need to do, okay? If you, um, you can also type setup scanner. If you have the Honeywell scanner, then just make sure you tap Honeywell MS7580. Scan this code right here and it should start working with your Clover device and you're done, okay? If you have any other scanner, then uh, you can tap on scanner and as I just explained to you, you can go to our help site and we'll tell you the exact same thing we just talked about where you just go ahead and try it out. If it doesn't work, go ahead and contact us at help at appheaven.us and uh, we'll help you either figure out a scan code for your scanner um, or you can look it up yourself in the scanner manual. Look for the code that lets you scan a new, uh, basically adds a carriage return, line feed or enter key after the scan. It's usually a, a code that comes with a manual that comes with your scanner. Again, carriage return or line feed or enter key after scan. And really you can use any 2D scanner if you find your own scan code. Uh, we, we support these two scanners that we do because we know the scan code you need, okay? But that's it, that's all you gotta do to get your scanner set up. Again, if your scanner already works, ignore this video. If you, uh, if you don't have one of these two scanners, then try to find the code that'll let you enter the scan code properly or contact us and we'll try to help you, okay? Um, or if, you, if your scanner already works with Clover and, it, and you scanned a driver's license and you got gibberish on the screen on the register, you're already done. Thanks.